You're watching coding tutorials at night, building little projects on weekends, maybe even grinding leak code problems, thinking that's your ticket to the tech money everyone talks about. But here's the truth. In 2025, most people trying to break into tech are doing the exact same things. And most of them are still struggling. I've been there before. Seven years ago, I was a 30-year-old English teacher making barely enough to get by. And I was able to turn my life around becoming a senior developer, earning over $300,000 annually, managing teams at companies doing seven to eight figures in revenue. In this video, I'm showing you exactly how to actually make real money in tech in 2025. Not with the outdated advice that worked five years ago, but with the specific strategies that are working right now. The tech industry has fundamentally shifted in ways most people haven't realized. In 2025, there are three critical changes you need to understand. First, AI integration has eliminated many entry-level coding jobs. Companies that used to hire junior developers to build basic features now use AI tools instead. If your strategy is to learn code and apply everywhere, you're competing against artificial intelligence, not just other developers. Second, the traditional hiring pipeline is broken. Most job boards are flooded with thousands of applicants for each position, and many listings are merely performative. The positions are often filled internally or through networks before they're even posted. Third, skills that command premium salaries have completely shifted. Technical specialization now trumps generalized knowledge. I've seen specialized developers with just one year of focused experience out earning generalists with five years in the field. Let me share a concrete example. When I worked at a software development firm, we built a mental health application for a client. The CEO then asked me to refactor everything so we could reuse components for different organizations. That's when I realized something crucial. Every app needs authentication, chat, and profile management. These core components make up 90% of what most applications require. The developers who could create these modular, reusable components became indispensable, while those who only know how to follow tutorials struggle to provide real value. In 2025, there are three specific paths that actually lead to significant income in tech. Path number one, the specialized developer. This isn't about becoming a full stack or a front end developer anymore. It's about developing expertise and high value specialties that companies desperately need. Security engineers making 175 to 250K AI integration specialists earning 160 to 220k, performance optimization experts commanding 140k to 200k. Take Gabe, who was working in insurance while finishing college. Instead of trying to learn everything, he focused exclusively on payment processing systems. Within 90 days, he landed a junior role at Amex, making well over six figures. Not because he knew everything, but because he solved one specific valuable problem better than anyone else. Path number two, the technical founder. This doesn't mean building the next Facebook. It means identifying specific industry problems and creating focused solutions. SaaS tools for niche industries, specialized automation systems, technical consulting paired with custom software. Mini, a former florist whose business closed during COVID, built an inventory management system specifically for small flower shops. She now earns multi-five figures implementing her solutions for businesses, not by coding 24-7, but by solving a specific problem that nobody else was addressing effectively. Path number three, the tech adjacent professionals, some of the highest earners in tech barely code at all. Product managers, 145K to 210K. Technical sales, 120K plus commissions. Solutions architects, 165 to 230K. The most valuable skill in tech today isn't coding. It's identifying problems worth solving. Let me show you how this works in practice. I noticed patterns in the components every application needed. Instead of just completing the project, I built a boilerplate foundation I could reuse for future work. I created a GitHub repository with organized documentation and file structures that other developers could also use. This approach, identifying a common problem and creating a reusable solution now drives every successful tech career I've seen. Here's how to implement this mindset. Observe repetitive tasks in your current work or industry. 
Ask why five times to get to the root of the inefficiencies. Think about how solutions could apply broadly. Build proof of concepts that address these problems. Share your solutions to validate their value. Shay, a 40-year-old dad with no tech background, focused exclusively on building e-commerce components for small businesses. Within five months, he was working with the former CMO of IKEA as a freelance developer, making multi-five figures. Not because he mastered every technology, but because he solved a specific problem that provided clear business value. For a six-month action plan, here's exactly what to do month by month to start making real money in tech. Month one, strategy and focus. Choose one path, specialist, founder, or tech adjacent. Identify one problem domain that interests you. Research the specific technologies needed, not all technologies, just what's relevant. Create a focused learning roadmap. Month two to three, foundation building. Learn the core technologies for your chosen path. Start building components or solutions related to your focus area. Connect with others working in your target specialty. Document your learning process publicly. Month four to five, creating your solution. Build a complete solution to your chosen problem. Test it with actual users or potential clients. Refine based on feedback. Develop clear documentation explaining the problem you solve. Month six, positioning and monetization. Create a portfolio showcasing your specialized solution. Reach out directly to companies or clients who need your specific expertise. Position yourself as the solution to a particular problem, not a generic developer. Start charging for your solution or expertise. The key difference from your traditional approaches, this plan focuses on solving specific problems rather than accumulating generic skills. This is how my student Jocelyn went from being stuck in tutorial hell to building an app that hundreds of users now depend on daily making her immediately valuable to employers. Future-proofing your tech career. The final piece of making money in tech is ensuring you remain valuable as the industry continues evolving. Build systems, not just skills. Documentation is as valuable as code itself. Create communities around your solutions, continuously identify new problems to solve. These principles have enabled me to go from a 30-year-old ESL teacher to building multiple successful tech ventures and helping hundreds of others do the same. The developers who will thrive in the coming years aren't those who know the most languages or frameworks. They're the ones who can identify valuable problems and build effective solutions. By focusing on this approach, you will position yourself for sustainable success regardless of how technology evolves. Now, you know exactly what it takes to actually make money in tech in 2025.